can see it and we can feel it. Hotter summers, rising sea levels, extreme weather events like stronger storms, deeper droughts, and longer wildfire seasons. All disasters that are becoming more frequent, more expensive, and more dangerous. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the fear-mongering of Barack Obama. Today he announced sweeping new regulations to uh, solve the uh, desperate problem of climate change. Tom DeLay, former U.S. House Majority Leader, former Congressman from the great state of Texas, joins us. And you know, Congressman, it's no longer global warming, it's climate change. So if it gets hot, if it gets cold, if it rains, if it snows, no matter what, it's, see, see, it's climate change. Well, it's good to see you, Steve. I got to tell you, this is why I ran for office back in 1978, uh, was to go after the EPA and stop the, stop the EPA. Now we have an EPA with a president that doesn't mind lying to the American people. Everything in that quote was a lie. Uh, the, 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 the water on the shores are not rising. There, there's not any more storms than, there's, than, than there has been. I'm here in Houston. Uh, we're susceptible to hurricanes. We've had very few hurricanes over the last few years. They have not proved that there's such a thing as global warming. And most importantly, they have not proved that man has anything to do with it. It's the arrogance of man to even believe that we can affect the uh, nature and, and this world and its atmosphere. It's and, just and, absolutely crazy. Of course. And in the 70s, when you were running, they were talking about uh, on the cover of Time Magazine, Newsweek, the coming ice age. A few years ago on the floor of the Senate, Barbara Boxer said, there's going to be no more snow. All the ski ski resorts are going to close. And now, of course, we can't get rid of snow. I mean, it's, it's insane. And now he's playing the asthma card. Now ki black kids especially said are getting asthma because of climate change. <laughs> Asthma because of climate change. It has nothing to do with the health conditions or, or the way they're raised. Uh, I can remember back then, uh, Paul Ehrlich, remember him, the population bomb? Yeah. He, he predicted that today the population would have grown by 10 times as big as it is and, and that we would have to start killing people uh, to, to uh, uh, stop the po population bomb. We'd all be in famine. It, we, uh, the world is coming to an end. And yet, uh, none of that came true. But we spent a ton of money uh, by the government and others uh, to stop the population, not, not the least of which was uh, the increase in abortion. So, uh, you know, this is, this is just outrageous. The good news is uh, this president, and by the time they even come up with these plans to uh, lower emissions, he'll be gone and long gone, and we'll have new people at the EPA and then uh, in the president's seat. Well, let's let's hope so. So who might that new president be as we finally entered the week, uh, Congressman, where the debates are going to start on Fox, of course, um, and Donald Trump continues. You know, when I hear people say, uh, Chris Christie brought this up, but he was echoing what he's heard. You know, oh, you know, four years ago, Herman Cain led the polls and, and uh, uh, Michelle Bachman led the polls. This is just Donald Trump leading the polls. But I say it's much different. He's consistently leading the polls. He's, yeah, yes, he is, and it'll be interesting how he stands after the debate. Right. What the others are not getting, I think Huckabee's the only one that's really getting it, is that people are dying and demanding leadership, number one, and Donald Trump is providing that. Um, and secondly, they, they want a fighter. They want someone that will stop what's going on in Washington, D.C., uh, and he's proven that. Now, when we get it down to his principles, I don't know that he's all that principled a man. Uh, maybe things will change. But right now, he is reflecting what the, uh, at least the Republican voters are, are demanding, and that's leadership and a fighter. Yeah, uh, well, he certainly is providing that. That's for that's sure. Why Walker's, that's right. why Walker's number two. Yeah, well, let, let me ask you a question. What is the difference between... <laughs> socialism and 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 uh, and being a democrat because twice now including on meet the press debbie wasserman schultz either refused to or just couldn't answer that question i'll tell you the difference there is no democrat that's not a socialist <laughs> <laughs> when you turn when you turn the economy over to the government and you want to use the environment which is a religion to control people you've already got control through their health now you control through energy, uh, that's socialism, um, and, and that's Democrats, pure and simple. And I, I just can't imagine that the Republicans aren't jumping all over this. I've been demanding 
that they they talk about things in a bigger picture, a bigger vision, where they want, why Republicans are different than Democrats. Um, maybe that'll come later on. I don't but, know, Congressman. They're not saying anything. They're not passing anything in the Senate. They're just sitting on their hands and closing their mouths. When I say they, I mean the leadership, and it's, it's, it's disgusting. We've got 20 seconds. Go ahead. Well, I've seen it before. They, they wait through an election and uh, don't make any waves, don't make any uh, uh, mistakes, and, uh, and hold on to the House yeah. and the Senate. It's well, not- I thought they just won a landslide. Now they're going to turn people off. Anyway, Congressman, great to talk to you. We'll speak soon. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. All right, the Mulsberg panel's next. Don't go away.